so <clears throat> when you're not able to see any icon in your uh, dashboard okay generally what we do we click on plus button and uh, we go here and we try to enable them okay but in this case we are not able to see from here also suppose if i try to see like procurement look at here i don't see procurement in any area i'm trying to find out using control f i don't see procurement here to select to select i don't see procurement So if you can see here, you can enable to the checkbox, then that will display here. But even it is not available in the in that page to add. Okay. We are having all the uh, we are already having the roles. Okay. We are already having the roles. Tools and security console. This is the old user only, and we are already having the roles. We are having the buyer role. Okay, so buyer role means we you should be able to create uh, purchase orders. But to go to the purchase order page. We are unable to see the procurement icon in the dashboard or springboard. Okay, and we are also having order manager role, and uh, we are also having the roles related to GOP, order promising manager. Okay, but we are unable to see the icons in the in the dashboard. Okay, so the first part is you have to verify from here whether you are able to find the order management or procurement from here or not. Okay, if you are able to find, then enable the checkbox. Otherwise, otherwise you have to enable at the structure level. You have to enable at the structure level. Okay. So how we can navigate to the structure? So generally, you get this kind of issues in the real time, also. So after any maintenance activity. Okay. So nothing but any. Uh, after the quarterly upgrade so we are having upgrade every quarter right after, at the time also we get this kind of issues okay so to go to the structure page you should go to the configuration you should go to the configuration under configuration you should go to the structure you should go to the structure okay sometimes under configuration the structure is also not going to display okay because it is not enabled it is not enabled so to enable the structure you have to go to the configuration configuration group yeah under configuration group make sure the structure is selected if you select the structure then you can able to see the structure under the configuration group under the configuration group okay so but to make the changes since we are making the changes in the uh, in the look and feel so you have to enable the sandbox so uh, better create a fresh sandbox because don't work on the existing sandboxes okay so because uh, if you are selecting the existing sandbox and if you are trying to publish the existing sandbox you are publishing the other changes also you don't know right what are the changes has been done in the in that sandbox so you are about to publish those changes also okay so make sure you are creating your own sandbox
<laughs> okay so so activate that sandbox just see the description here select the sandbox and activate it set as activate Now navigate to the configuration. Under the configuration, go to structure. Go to structure. And under the structure, we can select the icons to be displayed in the navigator or in the springboard. Okay. So navigator is nothing but this one. Okay. The springboard is nothing but the dashboard. So you can select here. You can select here what to be displayed in your navigator, what to be displayed in your uh, Springboard, okay. So here, look at here, the supply chain execution, supply chain planning, both are not enabled. Both are not enabled to the navigator or springboard. Okay, if you expand, if you expand, uh, or let me expand supply chain execution. If you expand the pricing administrator and supply chain orchestration, both are there, both are there. Okay, but the main, main group is not enabled main group is not enabled okay that's the reason we are not able to see the supply chain execution so if you're able to see the supply chain execution and under that we are able to see the pricing administration or or whatever okay and in the similar way the procurement also in the similar way procurement also where is the procurement group yeah yeah in the similar way the procurement is also not the group is not enabled. If the group is enabled, then the following will get displayed. Okay. Under procurement, you can see purchase orders and suppliers and requisitions, but the group is not enabled. Okay. So generally, uh, this checkbox is a triple checkbox. Okay. So if you click on here, you should be able to select S or no here. But due to an issue in this application, uh, it is not allowing us to enable or disable this enable or disable this okay we don't have an option to enable or dis disable this but, but generally you have an option to enable or disable here okay so otherwise you, you can open an sr with the oracle if you don't see any s or no option here okay but for us we don't have a support since this is a demo instance i'm creating a uh, I'm, I'm trying to achieve this issue in another way, in another way, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm creating a new group. I'm creating a new group, okay? Click on create new group. As, uh, as procurement one. And you can select the Icons to icons for the for your uh, any shipping cart icon you can if it is there you can select that yeah, because it's relevant or else you can select any icon that's fine. And yes, I want to show it in the navigator as well. Show in the navigator also. See here, S is there. So continue with that. Continue with that and uh, click on save and continue. Okay. And 
save and close so we created a group called procurement one okay so i'm going to move I'm going to move everything like I'm going to move the purchase requisitions to that group. I'm going to move the purchase requisitions to that group. Okay, so you can see the group here, the one which you created. Look at here, the procurement one. Move that. Look at here under procurement, you can see purchase requisitions. The procurement group, group is also enabled and then purchase requisitions is also enabled. Okay. And in the similar way, we need suppliers and purchase orders. So I'm going to the original. Here we are, yeah. Under again, expand the procurement. And uh, we need purchase orders right we need purchase orders and purchase agreements also okay so move that to that group new group okay so purchase orders is also added to the new group again go back to the original group so under procurement so purchase agreements are moving now and uh, supplies i'll also move supplies give me a second in. give me a second in. Okay, so we are, we have created procurement group. Okay. And uh, in the similar way, I have created SEM group. Under SEM group, I, I selected just only inventory management, but we need a couple of other things also. Uh, like we need, uh, Pricing, we require pricing. And uh, auto management and unit management. That's okay for now. Okay. Uh, and also we need uh, GOP related like supply chain execution items also. In such case, we need to create another group. Okay, that's fine. I'll uh, create later. Um, now we are done with the changes. Now I would like to publish. Okay, so you cannot, don't, uh, exit the sandbox if you exit the sandbox your changes will go out so go to manage sandboxes again and then make sure you selected the sandbox which you have created and click on publish select row to publish
where is our uh, yeah it's here on the top select it and click on publish and when you are publishing you verify the name okay this is the seeded name and this is the name that you created icons icons or icons to display i think our name is icons to display not icon yeah this one select this one icons to display okay click on publish click on publish Okay, you know, we should be able to create a new group called procurement one. Okay, under procurement one, we can see purchase requisitions, purchase orders, purchase agreements and suppliers. And also we create another group called SEM under that inventory management and the pricing administration. Okay. Order management, I have already moved to a group called costing. Okay, under the existing group, I moved uh, order management. But we can also move the order management from costing to the SCM side. Okay. Any questions? This is where we can create new groups and we can move the items from one group to the other group. Okay. So this is the issue that we are facing in this instance currently. It's clear team. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat>